welcome back to my channel. This is the 23rd vlog in the series of the build of my model and skill train track. If you want to follow me in the whole process of building this table, please consider to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for further videos. So today we are going to put the cork bed on the helix circles and also the train track. We will be using wood glue and some pins to fixate the cork bed to the circles. So now that the first two are done, we can remove the pins and finish the others. So now the last two ones. I will be using the dark cork bed which I used on the main track. This so it matches the scenery. <laughs> So now that all circles are complete, I will be installing the track. I'm using flex track, which is 75 centimeters long, and most of them I already bent in the correct curve. This so that the installation is easier. As with the main track, I will be using very small screws to fix the track to the cork bed. Here I'm determined which side of the circle section of the helix go under or above. Since this is the front helix, I will prepare the first section to go underneath of this track. <laughs> So now comes the difficult part. Since the track is curved, you cannot just add another section of flex track, just the same when you're doing it with a straight track. I have seen a video on YouTube in which they use the same technique what I will be doing here on an H of scale track.
This technique is removing some bars from the track and then cut one rails of the late track and cut the other rails from the other track so that the connection is at least six bars apart. I will be using seven bars on each circle. If you connect them together you will be able to easier bend and have a smoother transition for the train to travel. So here I'm cutting one rails to length so that I can slide the other rails into the bars. Now I need to measure the length of the other rails on how much will need to be removed. Now that all is cut to the correct length, I added the contacts and will slide the rails into the bars. If all is done correctly and the track is fastened, you will have a smooth ride of the train and it is nicely curved. So here I'm testing the track with a wagon. So here another close up of how I did it and this needs to be done with all other 9 circles. So here I'm working on the last circle from the helix to be completed. So when this is finished we can finally start building the helix from bottom to top. Thank you for watching this video and if you liked it hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for further videos. And I will see you in the next video.